The Topics Index has soared a majestic 29% since its February low and is in positive territory for the year. As a wind beneath Japan Inc's wings, the yen is looking increasingly comfortable, below 115 against the dollar. More bullish still, and for the first time that anyone can remember, not one Japan economist thinks that the central bank will announce any additional easing at its meeting on Tuesday. Sensational stuff, except for what Sherlock Holmes, if he sat on a Tokyo equities desk, might describe as the curious incident of the popping of champagne corks in the night time. They have not popped, or if they have, they've done so only very quietly. On the face of it, Japanese stocks have been the standout beneficiary of the yen's 15% drop and what many are keen to call the Trump trade. Since the November US presidential election, not a single subsector of the topics has fallen as foreigners have piled in and revert to mean individual Japanese have piled out. The problem is that the sectors that have really outperformed during that time were not the ones where the would-be cork poppers have been placing the biggest wagers. Trump trade is a convenient buzzword, but the reality is that the stocks it has moved are as much an affront to market assumptions as his election in November and the Brexit vote in June. It's hard to clink glasses when you know you don't know what's happening. The unlikely superstars have been financials, miners, shipping companies, steel makers and insurance, a rogues gallery of cyclicals. Other uncomfortable oddities abound, not least the fact that exporters are not leading this rally despite the yen being 13 yen to the dollar cheaper than most of them assume for the year. The investors that have won the Japan rally have been value investors, those endlessly courageous, endlessly disappointed souls who look at Japan's deep pool of low price to book ratio stocks and see treasure. There are several reasons they aren't cracking open the fears. One being the non-celebratory nature of value investment. Another is that they don't quite believe that this rally will go much further. Last week, unnoticed in the excitement, value stocks fell for the first time in three months. We may have seen the peak.